name is Charles at JTEC, and we are going to go through a valve adjustment on this uh, CAT C7. So first things first, I'm going to talk about safety. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses because we are going to be working with metal and pieces could chip off. Uh, second, the tools we're going to use, we're using a, a hex key or allen wrench, a feeler gauge to find our, uh, our adjustments, our spacing, excuse me and a torque wrench. This is an inch pound torque wrench. Um, we just need to get 22 pounds. So if your torque wrench is 22 pounds, you're good. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to set taut dead center on cylinder one. So to do that, we need to rotate the, the crankshaft so that the camshaft will turn all of the, we'll start rocking the, uh, the injector, uh, the rocker arms and bring the cylinder one to top dead center. Now the way you would figure that out is by watching its companion cylinder, which is cylinder six. So cylinder six will be on its exhaust side. So what we'll look is we'll look for the valve overlap, which will be the exhaust valve will be coming up just as the intake valves will be being, de being depressed. So once that happens, we'll be at top dead center with one. So let's set top dead center. and will let you see what it looks like really quick. So. This is our cylinder six. We're gonna set it hot dead center. We so watch the rocker arms moving it. You see how that's coming up? Watch that exhaust coming up until that intake starts going down. There we go. So now we know because on cylinder six is on its exhaust stroke. Cylinder one is on our top dead center. That's the first thing you do is we're gonna set top dead center. Now, so now there's a couple ways, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, you can go in firing order, which is you would go one, you'd set one, and then you would set five, and then you'd set three, as you're turning the engine every single time. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit different. We're going to set top dead center and set the intake and exhaust we can set. And then we're going to set top dead center on six. And then we're going to set the intakes and exhaust on those. So, so for intake, we're going to set intakes at one, five, and four. So we got, I mean, one, two, and four. So we got one, two, and four. Our intakes are going to be set at 0.15. So we use our feeler gauge here. By 1.5, and our exhaust is going to be point, set at 0 0.025. So we're going to set 0 0.025. Just set those apart. Okay. So if you look, our rocker arms. This is our exhaust rocker arm. We can tell this by looking at the exhaust. The exhaust um, valve is right above our exhaust manifold outlet. So this is the exhaust manifold right here, right above it. So these are exhaust valves. So we're going to set our intakes on one, two, and four. What we do, we're gonna loosen up our adjustment screws, adjustment stops, excuse me. Take our 0 .5, 0 .015, stick it underneath the rocker arm. Loosen this up. So now when we tighten this down, we want it to be snug, but not too snug where you can't pull it out. All right. Reaching. Now we're gonna to torque this down to 22 plus or minus five torque, uh, foot pounds. This is a crow's foot on the end of this torque wrench here. We hold our, our uh, adjustment screw, torque it down. That right, click tells us it's 22 pounds. And we're going to re recheck it, and that's good. So now we do the intake on number two. Same thing. All right, and now number four. One, two, four. Now we need to set our exhaust sides on one, 
One, three, and five. So let's say exhaust in one, three, and five. So exhaust will be 0.25. It's the same process. And we're doing one, three, and five. Alright. There's three. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So now we need to set top dead center on cylinder six. So what we're gonna do is turn the engine 360 degrees. The best way to find out top dead center is to watch number one for cylinder. When the exhaust comes up and the intake goes down, right, we gotta turn the engine 360 degrees, so it might take a little bit. Here we go. Right. Here we go. So, number six is a top dead center. Now we do intakes on three. Five and six. And two, four, and six. So three, five, and six for intakes, two, four, and six for exhaust. Alright, so that's the intake side. Then we do the exhaust on two, four, and six. So the exhaust. So that's how you do a valve adjustment. It's the same for any vehicle. It's similar procedures. Make sure you check out the torque specs for the vehicle you're working on. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something out of this. Thank you very much.